Okay, so this is going to be kind of part one of this, and we'll see how this goes. So, as many of you have read, I've been promising new content for quite some time now. Um, it's been a hell of a journey since I first started cosplaying in 2015, and with all the creative goals I have for myself, I have kind of find myself just overwhelming. Um, it was nice to get, you know, take a step back from social media, kind of gather my thoughts, refocus my energy, and now I'm back. So I'm trying to create something new every day for myself and for my own sake. So first things first, as far as creative content goes, I want to start a podcast. That's the big thing that I thought would be really cool to do. Um, and as you've probably read, Haley and I originally were the Bodacious Bombshells, we decided the best paths for us as artists were to split in October of 2016. Uh, after that, I've continued to cosplay, rebranding the name and the face to just BB Cosplay. I've had many other things in the works besides a podcast. Um, I have other, you know, spirals full of just new content that never quite took off, mostly due to, you know, excuses of my own. I'm trying to make a personal goal to not let my laziness or procrastination get in the way of my art anymore. Um... A lot of personal recollection and reflection and I just I love creating and I hate that I've let things in my life get in the way some things you know are excusable and it's adulting and life happens and stuff but other situations it's just been lack of motivation and I don't want to I don't want that to be a thing anymore so I have tons of podcast ideas like as far as subjects goes um, mostly inspired by Jenna Marbles and Julie and Solomita. Their podcast is hilarious, and they always seem to knock it out of the park every time they do it. Uh, I'm going to steal a couple ideas from them, but uh, always open to suggestions as far as topics to talk about and discussions and games and guests and interviews and all that fun stuff. So um, I you know, wasn't really sure where to start with the, with the podcast, Um Really wanted to jump in and do the games, but also felt like an intro video was somewhat necessary. So here I am. <laughs> I, you know, thought that the first podcast should be sort of a basic, who the hell does this chick think she is kind of podcast. So this is the Who Am I podcast, and we'll kind of see what I can or can't <laughs> bore you guys with here. So basically, I'm pretty simple. My name is Lauren. I'm 25 years old, almost May 18th. Can't come soon enough, obviously, for my birthday and for Deadpool. Hello. Um, I'm a creator. I love making art, and it started, you know, something as simple as just being in choir as a kid, singing my heart out, you know, to the fullest, and hands-on art projects. I remember, you know, doing art projects kind of out of the box, and I don't know why, I, no one knows why they remember specific moments like this that, you know, are so, like, minuscule in, like, the grand scheme of things, but I was in my art class, and I did little things, like, whenever we had to color something or, you know, for whatever, I would always color, like, I would use my red marker and color all the spots that I wanted red, and then I would use my blue marker and color all the spots I wanted blue, and, like, apparently not a lot of kids did that. Apparently, like, oh, I want to color this flower red. Okay, well, oh, crap, I want to color this other flower red, too. Like, I don't know. I just did it that way, and I've, I've always kind of thought differently, I think. Um, not necessarily, like, oh, I'm so special and unique kind of way, but just... I saw things, I saw a different path for certain situations and, you know, kind of went for it from there. Um, you know, and then after simple things like that, I gradually added more technical outlets like graphic design, uh, digital manipulation, of course, photography and videography. And my most recent creative outlet, like I said, was added in August of 2015, which is cosplay. Um, we'll dive back into details with that later. <laughs> I have three younger siblings who all have their own unique talents and personalities. And my family also has two pug mix dogs who are just as special and unique. Um, I grew up in Blue Springs, graduated from Fort Sage High School, class of 2011. What's up? And then after that, I actually went to Missouri Valley College for the first couple years where I played volleyball. And then when we got a new coach and I decided that the volleyball wasn't going to work out anymore. I decided to move to the University of Central Missouri um, to actually pursue my degree in photography. And that's where I graduated from in May of 2016. So that's pretty cool. I have my own personal business that I've been running since 2010. 
um, when I first kind of started getting into photography, you know, we lived on 80 acres. So a lot of my images were nature shots to start and gradually added, you know, more subject matter. And now that everyone my age is married or with kids or having more kids, it's been a very good um, business plan, I guess, in that sense. And it's a good market for me to get, you know, more experience with unique situations. Um, I guess moving back to more creativeness, um, I'm very new to anime, but currently I've been watching season three of My Hero Academia and also started Persona 5, which is kind of cool. Those are the kind of current ones that I've been watching. Um, some of my favorite characters are definitely Urza from Fairy Tale. She was actually the first anime character that I cosplayed, uh, first anime that I watched almost completely I still have you know 20 episodes left that I need to get through but you know she's a super powerful character and super intimidating and just strong all around uh, obviously Hinata from Naruto that was a new one recently that a friend of mine uh, advised that I you know get into and pay attention to because she is she's a very weak character to start doesn't believe in herself kind of thing and wants to believe and wants to be strong and gradually grows into that and you know becomes strong enough to put up with you know his crap so obviously you know has a good head on his shoulders and a good heart of course very good heart um and then of course Deku from My Hero is you know the same idea he all he wants is to be a hero he wants to be like All Might and that's you know end all be all that's what he wants he wants to be there for people and save people with a smile on his face so very good characters to kind of look up to and the strength is what highlights them for me um, there's a ton of anime on my list to binge, so, you know, as I find time, I would definitely will keep getting into it. There's more that I haven't listed, but, uh, man, it's just, each anime is so different, and it's a very unique way. Even, like, people compare shows, and they're like, oh, this is the same show as this other show that came out, you know, 20 years ago, and it's like, no, like, they're all super different, and I, you know, admire a lot of different things about each anime, so... Going to something I know a little bit more about uh, when it comes to superheroes. While DC has, you know, a pretty good chunk of my heart, uh, I, you know, I cosplay Poison Ivy. I love all the bombshells. I, you know, all the fun stuff. Um, Marvel definitely had my heart first and will always be my number one. The X-Men movies were actually my first exposure to the hero universe. Uh, thanks, Uncle Chad, for... Uh, taking me to the blue springs eight back when to see the midnight premiere of the third x-men movie um hugh jackman as wolverine was definitely my first celebrity crush like i know he was for probably a lot of younger girls and maybe some guys i don't know he looks great who knows <laughs> um i recently saw in avengers infinity war and no there's not going to be any spoilers so everyone just calm down um i honestly was just absolutely blown away by all the action and emotions uh, you know, Marvel movies keep getting longer and longer. And I, while I enjoy every second that, you know, my favorite characters are on screen, that does kind of make me nervous because, I mean, you never know. Like, it could drag, it could this. And so far they haven't, but this was the quickest two and a half hours of my life. Like, I've seen it twice now and it just, it flew by. It's just so action packed. Like, everywhere you turn, there was a snarky comment or a dumb joke or Groot or, you know, whatever. Like, it's, it was really great. Um, I still haven't seen Thor Ragnarok, so I know I'm a failure, you know, burn me at the stake, throw stones at me, whatever. I don't know, but I don't know what happened. I don't know how I missed it, but it's on the list to watch. Uh, a lot of my peers and friends and enemies and everyone has claimed it to be their favorite Thor film. So definitely need to look into that. So, uh, kind of switching gears. I've got like a list so I can kind of keep on track with what I'm doing here. Um, aside from cosplay, graphic design, photography, videography, singing, the podcast, and anything else created that I really want to delve into, um, I actually really enjoy playing volleyball. I played for the first time in eighth grade, came home one day, mom was sitting, you know, probably on the couch or doing something, cooking dinner. And I just came home with the volleyball tryout flyer. And I was like, I think I'm going to do this. And she's like, okay, like no one in the family's ever done volleyball before, but whatever, do what makes you happy. And, you know, being five foot seven, five foot eight in eighth grade. Yeah. Like I got thrown in the middle front and was just told jump best I could to try to block. I was a mess. Um, I played all the way through, uh, like I said, I played in college for a couple years and I'm actually currently still playing on a couple adult leagues, uh, a couple nights a week. So it's a really nice change up versus, you know, lifting at the gym every night. 
which I need to get back on. Let's not bring that up. <laughs> um, you know, I, uh, I could fill the next however many minutes with the fact that, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic or that my favorite soda is Barks Root Beer. And yes, specifically Barks Root Beer. Or that my favorite chocolate bar is a Snickers. That my favorite type of food is ramen. No, wait. Sushi. No. Wait, ramen. Sushi? Ramen? Mm, both. Probably both. I don't know. I'm secretly a fat girl who just loves food in general, so this really isn't a fair question. But... As I digress, I kind of feel like I want to get a little more in-depth, a little more internal, a little more real. Um, over the past 25 years, I have definitely dealt with a wide variety of things. You know, good things like meeting new people, exploring new passions, engaging in all these new and exciting opportunities. And of course, with the bad things like dealing with loss, healing from betrayals that I never thought would happen, understanding important life decisions in general. The things that you thought were bad that secretly had good outcomes and just everything in between. Every choice that you make has a repercussion. Some good, some bad, but never solely like one way or the other. 25 years, I mean, that's crazy. I like to joke that I'm a quarter of a century now, and honestly, it's kind of a crazy thing to think about. If I live to see 100 years old, God forbid, I've already spent a quarter of my dollar. I'm already 25% of the way done with that video game. I've already completed one out of four of the major quests. And that's if I live that long. Like, what if I only make it to 50? I'm halfway done with my life then at this point. And what do I have to show for it? The world goes on without you either way. You know, what sort of legacy am I leaving behind? Right now, I have no kids. I'm renting an apartment alone. Something I've never done before. I've never lived on my own. I'm, you know, $40,000-ish in debt. I live 45 mi minutes away from my family. Again, something that I haven't done since college. And even then, I had a roommate. I had my volleyball friends. Like, it never really felt like I was alone. Uh, I just started working full-time. Yay, awesome. Uh, even though it's two years after I've gotten my degree. And while I'm working on building a photography business, the full-time job is barely utilizing my degree at all. I'm a graphic designer, and I've only taken a few classes on that. But... Again, exposure experience. Two years ago, I was in a relationship with someone that I thought I was genuinely going to marry and have the white picket fence with, travel with, make memories with. But now that person's no longer in my life at all and someone I care about more is. Someone I didn't expect. Half my friends that I thought were loyal to me aren't. And friends I didn't even know I had are showing how much they are actually dependable and there for me. But despite all that chaos, I'm still here. That's the important thing. I'm still working hard to achieve goals and to make something out of my life. Despite all the heartache, I still believe in love and happily ever afters and being there for people no matter what. Despite all the abrupt change of plans of what I thought was my future, I still move forward every day to the best of my ability. There are definitely good days, like I've said a million times, and there are definitely bad days too. And all those neutral days in between. But either way, these are my days. I can do what I want. I have the power to create my own destiny. I have the ability to set goals and figure out what steps I can take to achieve them. I can be whoever I want to be. And through a recent downfall of just overall mental, physical, emotional health, I'm so determined, more so now than ever, to rise out of the ashes and just be the best version of myself that I can be. And this has turned into quite the rant. I Trust me, I want most of my podcasts to be fun and light and full of games and fuckery. Sorry for the language. I know, potty mouth. Um, but I also just want like a solid base of who I am. You know, that way you know exactly what you're getting into. I, I'm not to be taken lightly. I'm very determined and passionate. And while some support and applaud me, you know, some are going to fear and hate me. And for the first time in my life, I'm coming to a place and coming at, you know, peace with myself that I can't please everyone. I'm learning that people come and go and that the only person with me from my birth until my death is going to be me. It's not always selfish to put yourself first every once in a while, and it's okay to piss off people around you sometimes. It's not the end of the world to do what makes you happy, even if no one else agrees or understands it. Accept yourself and come to terms with who you are. 
and everything else will fall into place. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed me ranting. And again, I promise this is going to be a lot more fun, you know, down the road than this was. Uh, you know, like I said, sometimes you just have to set that really strong foundation of who you are. So I would love to know. Comment below any opinions, epiphanies, thoughts, stories. I love reading them. And if you have any more ideas for upcoming podcasts, uh, discussions, spiritual stuff, if you like this kind of thing, or we can, you know, kick it back and talk about video games or anime, movie reviews, uh, my personal con or cosplay experience. We could play games. I don't know. Feature some guests. Maybe you got some cosplayers that you want to interview, talk to, and see what happens. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, also, be sure to check out all the fun social media links that I'm going to tag below. I'm going to start trying to stream on Twitch, I think, starting next week when the new Destiny 2 um, update comes out, which will be really freaking sick. Um, going to try to do that a couple times a week and post as frequently as I can to Instagram and Facebook. I don't like, you know, doing a lot of repost and, you know, just making posts to post something. So as long as the content has some sort of quality, then yeah, of course I'll share with you guys. Like I said, a lot of big things on the horizon and I hope you'll hang out with me and see where the journey takes us. So thanks for the, you know, joining me for the first pod podcast bombshells. So go out and conquer your day.